Hey, what's up, Amelia here? Let's see what's making news. The South Australian government wants to ban kids under the age of 14 from social media. Here's Joe to break it all down. Are you on any social media? I use um, Snapchat and a little bit of Facebook. Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, a bit of everything, really. What if you weren't? The SA government says social media is responsible for some big mental health concerns in kids and is investigating banning it for under 14s and making kids aged 14 and 15 need permission from their parents or guardian. It is consuming them and often taking them to dark places that young people just aren't equipped to be able to handle. It could have a mental effect if you're on it too long. If they see inappropriate content or something, that might affect their mental health. Especially with the ability to like edit pictures completely, kids comparing themselves. Most platforms already have an age limit of 13. But with so many users, the SA Premier says they can't effectively enforce that rule. That's why we need to make laws and rules that we can police. The ban hasn't been approved, but if it goes ahead, it would be an Australian first. And while some people think it's a good idea, others reckon a ban isn't the way to go. Maybe we need to be legislating to actually hold some of these super powerful platforms to a better standard. So what do you think? There could be some like parent control systems. I think social media sites should be held a bit more accountable and especially for like kids 12 and under, parents should have a more control over their technology. The winner of Eurovision has been crowned. Nemo from Switzerland took out the top spot this year with their song, The Code. It's Switzerland's first win at Eurovision in 36 years. I want to say thank you so much. I hope this contest can live up, live up to its promise and continue to stand for peace and dignity for every person in this world. Broken scoring, teams drawing, and people soaring. Michelle's got it all in sport. Neither the Adelaide Crows nor the Brisbane Lions players knew quite how to react after this dramatic draw in the AFL. They don't know how to feel. That sums it up there. For most of the match, it was an arm wrestle, with the lead changing more than a dozen times. But when that final siren sounded, scores were locked at 90 all. Siren! It's a draw! Draws are super rare in Aussie rules. This is about my 27th or 28th year in AFL footy. I, I can't remember ever having been involved in a draw. Next to a draw that's even more dramatic. This super netball game ended in a draw, and while the score on the TV was correct, the scoreboard inside the stadium was wrong. It showed the Lightning winning, so the players left. After a 50-minute investigation, the players were sent back out for overtime and it was the Giants who eventually won. Officials apologised and are trying to make sure it never happens again. Now from scoring to soaring. Austrian skydivers Marco First and Marco Wattenspiel became the first people to successfully fly wingsuits through London's iconic Tower Bridge. The duo leapt from a helicopter at more than 900 metres, reaching a top speed of 246 kilometres per hour. If you live in the southeast, you may have noticed the sky looking particularly amazing over the weekend. This is the Aurora Australis. It's the Southern Hemisphere's version of the famous Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, which also had a massive weekend wowing people around the world. Even though you can only really see it at night, it's actually caused by the sun. Particularly strong storms on the surface of the sun shoot out big bubbles of gas. And when those gases interact with the gases in our atmosphere, it can create these amazing light shows. When particles from the sun mix with the oxygen in our atmosphere, it gives off a green and red light, and when it mixes with nitrogen, it creates blues and purples. The lights get a lot easier to see the closer you are to the South and North Poles, but because it's particularly strong at the moment, some lucky Aussies got a glimpse as far north as Queensland. Hmm. Oh, catch you later. Quite nice, isn't it?